This favorite song project is brought to you by Mr. Colbert. My favorite song, one of my many favorite songs, is Lullaby of Berlin by George Shearing. That's the composer. Uh, this is performed by Nikki Yanofsky and Hei Wan. Uh, they're both jazz uh, musicians. Nikki is from Canada, and Hei Wan is from South Korea. So George Shearing was born in London, England in 1919, died in America in, in 2011. He was the youngest of nine children, which is kind of like me, uh, not just kind of like me, I was the youngest of nine children too. However, he was much older than me. He moved to America in 1947 and he was blind. Uh, he was born blind, he never, he never saw anything, so. The melody. The melody is the familiar, familiar singable part of the song. And the melody, uh, actually there's two different melodies in this, and I'll explain more in the next slide. Uh, the A melody is sung at the beginning by Nikki. Um, and then even though the words change, uh, the words might change, but the, uh, the melody is the same. Hey Wan will sing the A melody again. And then you have the B melody sung by Nikki again. Uh, and then the A melody, sung by Hei Wan. So you have A, A, B, A, which, great, I said that because the form of the song is the parts of the song in the order that they are in. So this song is standard song form, A, A, B, A. Um, now when you listen to the music, you can listen for each section and decide if it's new or something you've heard before. So in this song, not every song, in this particular song, if you want, when Nikki starts to sing, you can start counting the beats. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, count all the way up to 32. And then once you get to 32, a one's going to start singing the second A section. So that's a good way for you to kind of gauge where it is. By the way, if you want to do one, two, three, four, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, go up to eight, two, three, four, that's the same as counting the 32 beats. So A, A, B, A is the form. Texture, this is the layers of the music. So all the different parts of the music coming together to create one sound. The melody is pretty simple. It's a simple texture. If I were just to sing it, lullaby of Birdland, that's what I always hear when you sigh. That melody is fairly simple, but together when you combine it with the piano, the trumpet, the vocal harmony, all those things coming together, it becomes thicker and more complex. You can hear that. Um, especially at the end when you hear the harmony with the two voices and the trumpet. Tone color, now that's the individual sound of instruments like the bass, the piano, two singers, trumpet. Um, you can't see the bass in the video, but you can definitely hear it. Um, there's no drums in this. Usually in jazz music you hear drums and things like that. In this case there aren't any. So the tone color, the bass is one tone color. Piano is another tone color two singers, uh, each voice is its own tone color. All together, it's texture, because it's all together. All right, harmony. So in this song, anytime you have harmony, the lullaby of Birdland, that's what I, that's the melody. But when you hear two voices singing something different, like it could be a male and a female singing the exact same melody at the same time. Um, in this case, I'm talking about two voices singing something different, you'll hear that closer to the end. Um, and you'll also hear throughout the whole thing, the harmony in the piano. The piano has many pitches all at the same time, and the bass, and the trumpet will improvise somewhere in the middle. So that's harmony in there. Now the tempo of the song, um, the tempo, sometimes people confuse tempo uh, if the if like a drum set comes in or the, the music gets more exciting, they think the tempo speeds up. Most of the time, the tempo stays the same. In this particular song, the tempo does not change. You can count that steady beat throughout and hear that boom, 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 boom. Yeah, and it just, it never changes. So it's a medium tempo and it stays the same throughout. Now, unlike tempo, which is uh, the speed of the music. Dynamics is how loud and soft it is. So this starts off at a medium dynamic and it stays that way for a long time. Now at 140, it gets a little bit softer, just a little bit, not much. And then immediately gets louder and uh, that's when they start to harmonize at 144. It's not a huge change in dynamics, but it's pretty much the only change that's in there. Uh, a lot of music has huge changes. This one doesn't have a lot of huge changes. 
So listen to her singing, lullaby, right? And then you got lullaby. You hear the other girls sing. Really loud lullaby. Sorry, I get it. All right, pitch. Now, Nikki, that's the girl on the left side of the screen. She sings a really high pitch at that 1 minute 44 lullaby. Um, but hey, Juan, she sings uh, really low uh, pitches on uh, Kiss Me Sweet. Uh, Kiss Me Sweet. Uh, I can't think of it where it is in the song. But you'll hear it when, you sing, when she sings Kiss Me Sweet. It's very low in her voice. Now, rhythm in music is sometimes hard to describe, but I will say this. In jazz music, the music is swung, so the rhythm sounds uneven. Instead of a lullaby of birdland, that's what I always hear. Da 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 da. It's gonna be da 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 da. So it's swung. Da 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 da. Instead of da 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 da. So that's kind of a way to describe rhythm in this jazz music. Not all music is like that. Uh, this song does not have drums. This song has not drums. What am I, Yoda? I must have typed that wrong. But the, this song has not drums. Um, but the piano does create a good example of complicated jazz rhythm. So the bump ba da da ba do da di di do do ba do ka da do do da da. You're gonna hear the drum playing some really cool rhythms in there. So listen for that. Um, and then here is the link. Uh, I'm going to uh, link the, the video in because I can't play it on my computer and have you hear it, so I'm going to create it. All right, here's Nikki on the left. She's going to sing the A melody. It's 32 beats long. If you want to count, you can. One, two, three, four, five, six. Always here when you sigh. Never in my bird line could there be words to repeat. 78, 30, 31, 32. One, two. So this is the second A melody. Different words, same melody. In a second, you're going to hear something totally different. Different melody. Nikki's going to sing it right here. I'll stop it talking. And there's a repeal to He really knows how to cry. That's how I cry in my pillow. If you should tell this is the last A section, A, A, B, A. Same melody as the A section, different words. So the textures, all of this going on together. So now it, texture changes here because the singers aren't singing, the trumpet comes in. You still hear the bass. You can't see the bass, you can hear them. And the piano's over there. You can hear that rhythm the piano's playing. playing multiple keys at once. That's harmony also. Here's the part where it gets kind of quieter a little bit. And then Nikki sings loud here. A little harmony. Cool scat there. Jazz, sometimes you get people to trade off a little bit. So in a minute, you're going to hear Nikki and Hey Wan. They're going to trade off singing the melody. They've kind of been trading off the whole time, but you're going to see a little bit, a little bit different trade off. It's going to be shorter. Nikki will sing, then Hey Wan, then Nikki. Right here. Now in a second, you're going to hear some really good harmony. Right here. Now the trumpet comes in, they all do harmony at the end here. Beautiful voices. Uh, yeah, so they are uh, they are done singing, but what I'll go ahead and do, you don't have to watch it again, but if you'd like to, I'm going to just play it at the end without my annoying voice in the background. Hope you enjoyed this presentation. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Child